Welcome to this video on how to use JFile Chooser. JFile Chooser allows you to select a path and sometimes a file name as well. It doesn't do any of the saving or opening or anything else. All of that has to be coded by you in a later part of the program. But it does allow you to navigate around your system so that you can get to the places you want to see these files. Let me show you this running. In this program I'm going to show you four things. How to open a file. Well, you're not actually going to open it, of course. That is for you to code. But it will allow you to select the file that you will then open. How to save a file. Well, of course, it won't actually save the file. You'll have to write that code too. How to select a file of a particular type. Again, it won't open it, but it will let you select it. And how to select something with directories only. Let's go to the first of these, open a file. Here it's asking for any file anywhere. So that's a file name. If I click on open, I get the full path and the name of that file. Remember, it's up to the programmer then as to what they do with that to write the code that would actually open it or save it. Let me show you the code. The code for this is quite brief really. We have to instantiate a JFile chooser. So I'm going to call that object FC. So that's going to be a new JFile chooser. I'm going to use the FC to show open dialog. And it's going to show the open dialog on the program open file. The response that the user clicks on, in other words which button, will go into response. If the user clicks on the OK button, if response is the same as file chooser dot approve option, that's the OK button to you and me, then it will do the next two lines of code. In this case, it will fill in the text of a label on the open file program, and it will also put the same text into a public variable called file name. That's the one I'm using to show you the file names for this program. If the user didn't select the OK button, in other words they pressed cancel, then the else kicks in. In this case, the text, the file open operation was cancelled, is going to be put into both the label and the public variable file name. But what happens if the user presses cancel? Well, let me show you that. You've already heard that it should do the file operation was cancelled onto the screen, but you can see that it has. Now let's look at the second option, Save File. This doesn't allow me to select a file name per se, unless I want to overwrite something, in which case if I click on the file name it will do that. But it's down to the programmer to actually use this text to save whatever it is they want to. So I'm going to type in fred.txt and that would allow me to name and place a file called fred. The actual code to save it well, that would come separately. The code for that is here. And the only change is that instead of show open dialog, it's now show save dialog. Otherwise, everything else has remained the same. We're still able to track whether the user has clicked OK. We can still track whether the user has clicked cancel. Exactly the same things are happening. The third item gets a little more complicated, but not a lot. Here, I'm only going to be looking for JPEG files. So the only files that it will allow me to enter are ones that end in .jpg. If I click Open, it gives me the full path and the name of that file. The code for that is almost the same except that I need two lines in front of it. I need something called a JFile Chooser. So I'm going to call that FC. That's the JFile Chooser that we've already created. Now I need a file filter. The filter is going to only let the user see specific file types. The text in the first set of quotation marks tell the user what sort of file they are looking for. That's where it said JPEG in the bottom text box in the open dialog. And then I can look at whichever file extensions I want. JPEG files come in two types, JPG and JPEG. So I want both of those. But supposing I wanted 
any graphic file type. Then I type in graphics file here, that would tell the user what was being selected. And then I'd need to add the file extensions for all the other graphics types which can be used in my program. I then set the file filter for FC and then go away as normal. I can show the open dialog, collect the response. If they've clicked the open button, it does these. If they click the cancel button, it does these. Exactly the same as before. The final item is just to view directories. Now the user will not see any files at all. They will only see directories. So if I click on something else, again, only directories no files at all. If I click on open it gives me the full path to that directory. This is a directory not a file and I can do whatever I want with that directory name. Let me show you the code for that. We have our jfile chooser. We now set file selection mode to jfile choosers dot directories only and that means that only directories will be selected. The rest of the code is exactly the same as before. It will show an open dialog, collect the response from the user, see whether they clicked on open or cancel. If they clicked on open it does one thing. If they click on cancel it does something else. I hope you found this useful.